Hi class, thank you for watching my video. On this video, I will provide to you the right answer for previous lesson that you have done and uh, send your answer on me through a model. And I know that it's actually easy, right? But let me explain the answer. Okay, number one. The picture shows a person schedule at two times of day. The position of the sun is shown at 11 a.m. Okay, so the sun. Okay, the sun is at 11 a.m. That's. And then A on the diagram, label the directions east and west. Okay. Can you guess that when sun is located in the upper right upper left of the pictures here and then the shadow is over here can you guess where is the sun rises or where is the sun coming from so it may be the sun is coming from here right from the left is it and then the sun is set uh, here so when the sun is rises at the left side it would be the east and this one on the right side is the west okay and when it's the time at 11 am so we return the b question draw a line to show the path that the sun seems to take across the sky from sunrise to sunset add an arrow to show the direction in which it seems to move okay the sun seems to move from here and then rises at here and then in the middle here at 12 am and then sets on the right side on the west right so this is a diagram and then see mark on the lines you have drawn where the sun will be at midday at 12 so it would be this one right okay so this one is the answer for number one number two the picture below shows our timing on its axis the sun is on the left side so the sun would be on the left side the sun is here and then this is the light from the sun's label the earth axis the earth axis is this one so this is the earth axis okay b on the diagram mark one point where it is night label this point n Okay, I will want, um, give one point here, okay, here, or here, or everywhere in the half of the earth, and then label it with N, because it is night. Why on the right side is a night? Because the sun that's travel from left side will be not seen by the people or the earth on the right side C point A and B are the are on the earth's equator it is daytime as both A and B explain how you can tell this from the diagram okay A and B are on the earth's equator it is daytime at both a and b explain because uh, this is half 
they are both in the half they are lit up by sunlight so they are daytime both a and b and d at which point a and b will never happen first explain your name okay this is the wrong not your name explain your answer which point from a and b will never happen first the earth rotates to the left side or to the right side okay uh sorry i don't use left or right when it's uh, talking about uh, the earth's rotation but i will use a uh, clockwise or counterclockwise so this the earth rotation is counterclockwise so it's uh, turning to the left so when it's turned to the left from a and b which one will be uh, face the night first that would be B, yes, this one. Because B will reach the night first. Okay, so the answer is which point? The answer is B. Okay, okay, we go on next question. For each statement that is true, curse out the incorrect part and write the correction in the space underneath it. Number one, we cannot see the stars during the daytime. Is it right or false? Yes, this is true. Because of? Because of a uh, star is cannot see because the sun is sun brightest, the light is more brighter than the other stars. Okay? Number two, this is because the star stops shining during the day. The star is not stops shining. The star is always shines all the day. So the answer for number two is false. This is because the light from the sun is too bright during the sky. So the star is not seen in the daytime. Number three. At night, we see the stars moving across the sky from north to south. This is false because at night, the stars move slowly across the sky from east to west. So this one would, would be false. Number four, the stars make patterns called constellation. This is true. You can see on your course book. And then number five, the stars is in a constellation are very close to each other in space. Is it false? The stars in the constellation are far apart in the space. This is far apart. Number six, the Earth follows a path called its orbit around the sun. Yes, this is true. For number seven, the Earth takes one day to travel around its orbit. So the keyword is one day and around its orbit. So this would be one day around its orbit. Yes, that was false. Because of one year, takes one year to travel. On its orbit. And number eight, in December and June, we see different stars in the night sky. So the answer would be true because the the Earth is moving and orbiting the sun, and we can see different star on its face. This one is true. Okay, let's discuss exercise 11.5.
The diagram shows the moon and its orbit around the earth. The sun is shining from the left, and then the moon is shown on four different days. Study the diagram and follow the instruction below. Look at the moon on day 8. Okay, this is day 8. Okay, it is day 8 to show that half of it is in darkness. Shade the other three moon outlines to show which parts are in darkness on these days. Shade the earth as well. Okay, uh, jadi nomor satu ini, kita disuruh melihat... Uh, Bulan pada hari ke-8, ya hari ke-8 ada di sini, dan itu ada bayangannya yang di sini, ada setengah, itu masih gelap karena memang tidak tersinari oleh cahaya. Dan kita disuruh memberi shade, the other three moon, jadi kita disuruh mewarnai yang lain, outlines to show which part are in darkness on this day. Jadi kalau di posisi hari ke-15, otomatis darknessnya ada di sebelah sini. Di hari ke-22, darknessnya ada di sebelah sini. Di hari ke pertama, darknessnya ada di sebelah sana. Oke. Okay. Shade the earth as well. Jadi kita juga disuruh uh, apa namanya? memberi shade kepada yang bumi juga. Oke, okay. jadi kayak gini kurang lebih. On the earth, mark point where it is night. Like this point and Okay, I will uh, make this point and then I will write N here. Okay, so number one is done. Number two is done. So let's move on to number three. How many days does it take for the moon to travel around its orbit? How many? That's 29 days. Okay. Number one. In the diagram, one point on the moon is marked with an X. This is on the side of the moon which faces the earth. Okay. On day one, is it day or night at point X? Okay. Jadi, ada diagram di mana satu titik Uh, di apa di bulan itu ditandai dengan huruf X yang ini ya yang udah mis cara-cara di sini ada X kemudian di sini ada X juga ya enggak ya kan this on the side of the moon which faces the earth jadi ini menghadap ke bumi ini juga menghadap ke bumi kita gitu kan nah on day one day one itu yang ada di sini berarti yang ada di sebelah kanan on the right side is it day or night at point X The answer is day. Yes, it is day. It is day. And then on day 15, is it day or night at point X? Yes, it is night. It is night. And then we go on number 5. Imagine that you could stand on moon at point X. On day 8, you look into the sky and you can see the earth in the space below draw how the earth would look seen from the moon. Okay. We are on X, seeing from moon on day 8. Let's see, go back, we go back. So we are on the moon yes we are here and we see the earth that would be that the earth is half night and half is day so we see the earth just like that and this one the most important part of this video is your last assignment on this unit is on page 94 till 96 workbook i will show you this one It's about astro quiz. Here is a list of some of them you have learned in this unit, and then like heliocentric model, solar system, asteroid, star, galaxy, planet, gravity, Galileo, celestial. 
Your child is listening to quiz question to which these terms are the answer. Write your question in the table below on the next page. You can then test your friend's knowledge. It will help if you give them the first letter of each term to or given as example. Can you answer them? For example, like, what G is the force that holds us on to the earth that would be? What is it? That's, yes, gravity. The answer is gravity. That would be the G. And what G is a large number of stars clustered together? That would be galaxy, right? And so on. You can write your question and then you can answer it by yourself. And then exercise 11.8 satellites and space. And who would find this useful and why? You can uh, write down here a meteorological satellite is who would, would find that it is useful you can write here right here i will give you an example but uh, wait a minute this would be weather forecaster and why so is the correct answer and you can uh, next on the second question and answer it carefully last but not least the daily test. daily test is waiting on julie on 3rd 2020 okay bye bye